Howdy folks, welcome back to Cattle and Crops. Got the autopilot driving me over to the field. And you may not recognize this vehicle. Because it's a mod. I know I said I wasn't going to use mods on this series. But we've done about everything. You know, growing crops, harvesting them. And there's just so many good little mods out there that I wanted to try out. So, And they're affordable, that's the big thing. I just I just bought a forge harvester, a wagon, a regular harvester, and a header. I've still got money left over. So we're going to start using some mods on the series. This is a little New Holland 2305. I've got the uh, M6R basic corn chopper head on there. And we're headed over to one of my smaller fields. We'll bring the map up here. I think it's number is it 28 or 36 or what is this guy? 28. Heading over there to field 28, which we're actually driving by right now. It's right down there. And we're going to put that in the wagon here, hopefully. I've not used this mod yet. So if it works, great. Every once in a while, some of the mods have issues. But it's pretty awesome that uh, there's already mods out for this game, even though it's still early access. So we're going to give it a try. So I'm going to turn off the uh, autopilot. There we go. Now when I run into stuff, it's all my fault. What's nice about this is I can just hook a wagon right onto the back. And this is a small field, so in theory we should be able to get the whole field in here. Pretty sure I went the right way. It's actually got a screen on it, which is cool. Did I go the right way? Yeah, I think it's down here. So we'll see if this thing works. There we go. This is my field right here. Always fun driving with the uh, keyboard because it's, it's all or nothing on the brakes. All right, we're going to lower that down, and if I hit unfold, there we go, should get there. Yep, it's pointed at the wagon, excellent. And turn that on. I think that's all I have to do. I just got to point it in the right direction. Oh, we're, we're not doing something. Let's hop outside here. Or was I doing something? Oh, I was missing. No, go ahead and lower down. Yeah, man. <laughs> this is the danger with mods. Sometimes they work. Like getting that, or was I just running over it? Well, hard to tell. Yeah, that's folded out. For some reason that's not folding down. One thing. Yeah, it's not going down all the way. Not sure why. Is it gonna work? Yeah, it's grabbing the corn, sort of. Don't know why it won't go all the way down. Wiper goes once. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe this isn't going to work.
I'll have to look on the forums to see if maybe there's a fix where it, it folded down once and now it's just not not folding down for some reason. I wonder, oh, do I have to this controlled on the mouse didn't know that was a thing I have to use the hotkey here that turns it. I don't know. I don't even know what's going on right now. That's off. We did actually get some in the trailer. 108 gallons. But for whatever reason, it wants to just be tilted up in the air instead of tilted down. So, let's try this. No, not that. Let's try detach. There, now it's back to normal. Okay, well, that was fun. Turn that on. So, maybe you have to reattach it every time you raise it. Eh, you know, stuff happens. It's a mod on version 0 0.4 of a game. So I'll just take you along for the ride on some of these trials and tribulations of early access. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. And this trailer is filling up way faster than I expected it to. I thought we'd be able to get this whole field in the trailer, but I don't think we are. All right, that corn has gone through. It does have lovely little rotating parts and everything down here. Check that out, all the belts and... Gives wax and U joints and all kinds of stuff's going on there. All right, so let's raise this up. And is that going to break it again? Let's turn through the bushes here. I want to go across the top. Not breaking the trailer. All right, now when I lower this. Okay, that went back down. I don't know why it broke last time. Maybe it only breaks part of the time. Interesting texture in there. Looks like it has a grass texture coming out of the boom. And then some kind of shaft texture once it sits in the trailer. Alright, well, it, uh, it was a little bit of a rough start there, but it's mostly working. pretty close to the farm. I might run over and grab their Mercedes. Use it to shuttle the trailer back and forth. All right, let it suck in the corn. It looks like it's done. Raise that up. Right through the bushes. Big old turn out through here. Better back down. I like how it goes down quick and it's slow to raise it like it's actually hydraulic. No idea how fast we can actually go. Can we go, Tim? Seems fairly quick, but it seems to be working. I don't think I'll push any harder than that. All right, now let's go start going back and forth this way. What's interesting is this corn, it looks like it's all leaning uphill. So it's like it grows straight up. There's a little bit of a slope here though. It's interesting. So this trailer's a mod as well. You probably noticed that. It's a fortress something or other. Nice rough looking old trailer. Cheap too. 
We're gonna see if it does it have any kind of like suspension animation? Nah, just the wheels are bouncing up and down. Turn! Turn! <laughs> Not so much with the turning. What is going on here? Is the trailer causing me issues? Like I can't steer all of a sudden. Turn that off. The trailer's lifting the back end up so I don't get as much traction, maybe. Whoa. A little off-roading, you know, a little forge harvesting. Chewing through the mud. You can test the lights, but I assume. Yeah, it's got beacons. work lights on the boom and I am not driving anywhere close to straight raise your hand if you're surprised put your hand down you're not surprised you've seen my videos before How fast does this thing drive? It steps right out. Maybe we'll just run it over there with this. It is like 360 horsepower, something like that. It's a decent amount of power. All right, this will go just about as fast as the tractor. So we'll run this over to the farm and uh, empty it out. Head back over here. Yeah, actually, let's, let's come to a stop here. Before I wrap up the video, let me show you the other harvester that I got. Parking brake, huh? There we go. Look at this. Look at this beauty. I believe this is a Fortret something. No, it's a Bison. So I don't know if it's a Deutsch or I don't know. If, I don't know for sure who makes that brand, but it is a Bison something or other. Uh, yeah, the guy, you know, there's not like proper animations and stuff, but you know what? It's a great looking mod. Look at that. Fantastic. Got a great horn on it. Uh, does it have lights? Sort of has lights. No back lights. There's some brake lights. But uh, any of this was like, I don't know, 25 grand with a header or something like that. Real reasonable. So we actually have our own harvester now. I think, other than a cedar planter, uh, we have, I think, all the equipment we need to run our farm. Uh, the only cedar I've found is the, the Corn King and modifications thereof. I haven't really seen any of these smaller cedars or planters yet that are more affordable. So we're going to be using the Corn King for now. We'll just rent it every year as we do our planting. Um, I did, I got it in late, but I did plant corn over there in our big field three. So we'll probably sell that off for profit. Just chaff it up and sell it. Getting all lost here. Where's my farm? There it is. And then I believe everything's pretty much ready to harvest. I think, actually, no, I take it back. I think 20, whatever this field down here is. That one might still need some growth. But the little fields around the farm are ready to harvest. So we'll be doing those soon with the uh, the little uh, red bison. Yeah, this thing does all right pulling its trailer right up the hill there. No trouble at all. It's nice and narrow. We don't have to fold up the header. 
And it was cheap. So I bought this forage harvester, trailer, forage header, that bison and header, and I still got 44 grand. So I like it. It's kind of like you're buying used equipment. What I don't like is my bowls that keep getting out. Yeah, I see you over there. I see you. Get back in your pen. I don't know how they're getting out. I don't know if that's just a thing that's supposed to happen or if it's a bug. I'm going to put this in my silo. I'm not sure. I could sell this. Can I? Because I've got plenty of shaft in my... Can I dump this in here and then sell it later? Let's try this. I think I can clip right through that wall. Yeah, they've they've got a lot of clipping set up. Probably for the AI. Let's try this. Let's dump this in here. I've got grass in 10. Let's put it in number 9. Unload and start. Yeah, it's not too bad of an unload for a mod. I'll accept it. I like how it kind of runs down the back. Back of the heap there. I think this has a live... Does that have a live floor? If it does. How's the live floor working? Idea. Don't ask questions. Runs on magic and unicorns. Oh, there is a PTO shaft. <laughs> so just running on magic and unicorns. Excellent. Can't crouch, can I? Yeah, well, we'll just pretend like this has a PTO shaft, I guess. Though it doesn't appear to have one. The uh, headers will work too, even if the combine's not on. So yeah, there's, there's some work left to do. It is version 0 0.4. I can live with that. So what I'll do is probably just dump that in there and I'll sell it later. I could even set up a hired hand to do that. To have them run back and forth selling it somewhere. So back to the field we go. I think that'll be it for this one. Just wanted to show off some mods. Uh, there's a lot more mods to come. We may throw some more into the mix as needed, but this was two big purchases that were possible. My limited funds due to mods, so... I'm hoping the little red bison works as a grain harvester. Then we'll use this for chopping up, whoa, chopping up our corn. A little light in the front end. <laughs> That'll be it for this one, folks. Thanks for hanging out. Take care. There we go.